All right, everybody, welcome back. A lot going on in the sports world as usual. So let's get right to it with the big news that went down yesterday as Pikeview has landed their new head football coach. Congratulations to Larry Cook. This is a picture that Pikeview posted on their Facebook of head coach Larry Cook, who is now going to be the head coach of Pikeview football. Now, this is a great hire by Pikeview for numerous reasons, but one is just his experience. The experience that he brings, which let's show you what that experience is. His head coach record overall as a head coach of a football team, 85 wins, 59 losses, one tie. What does that tell you? One, that tells you he's coached a lot of football games. Two, that tells you he's won way more than he's lost. And those are two good things you want when you look for a head coach. That is a great start. Three seasons as head coach at Westside. He was recently on the Independence coaching staff as an assistant coach. That's another huge thing you love to check off because that Independence football team, as we all know, has been extremely successful over over the past four or five years, he was on the coaching staff when they won their state title two years ago, which is great news. He has that experience. And guess what? He played college football at WVU, which gets which just makes a little sprinkle on top. So I think Pikeview landed a great coach here. Very excited to see how and what he does with this team and look forward to talking with him in the future and seeing what his goals are as the head coach of Pikeview football. But congratulations for Pikeview's new head football coach, Larry Cook. From there, we move to basketball as the Associated Press State Media Poll is out for this week. And this is what we have. Nobody in our viewing area made the class quadruple A AP poll, but we've got two teams in the class triple A AP poll landing at number two, Shady Spring, seven and one record. They were number two last week. They are number two again this week, right behind Fairmont Senior, number eight. Midland Trail, they've got a 7-2 and two record. They landed at number 8 in the Class AAA AP poll. Going down to the Class AA AP poll, Bluefield sitting at number 3. They were number 3 last week. They're number 3 again this week. Their record is 6-2 and two overall in the season. And Wyoming East at number 10, 7-3 and three overall in the season. Wyoming East has been a really fun team to watch. We'll see if they can jolt up that AP poll as the season goes on. That's your Class double A AP poll. Moving to the class single A AP poll, James Monroe, they've been at that two spot about basically the entire year. They've been there the last couple weeks. They are six and two on the season so far. Six wins, two losses, by the way, for those that don't know. And number eight there is Greater Beckley Christian. They are six and and three overall. They are sitting between that seven and eight spot the last couple of weeks. That is your Associated Press State Media Poll for the boys. Let's go and check out what we've got here for the girls. This is the quadruple A AP poll. Princeton coming in at number eight, seven and two overall record. Last week they were tied at eighth. This week they're at eight again. Number nine, Greenbrier East making a big jump, nine and three record. And guess what? Last week they weren't ranked. That's what that NR stands for, not ranked. They now this week jumped up to number nine. So big job there by Greenbrier East. The class double A AP poll, Wyoming East. At number one again, they were number one last week, the week before. They're sitting there, 11-2 and two record, and the number one team in the AP poll in Class AA. Number two, right behind them, Summers County, 9-3 record. They were number two last week, number two again this week. And moving on to the Class Single A AP poll, James Monroe at five, eight and five record. They were at five last week, they stay at five. Greenbrier West, eight and four record at six last week, stay at six. And Riverview, nine and four record last week at eight, this week again at eight. We'll obviously update you on every single week how those look up and down teams go. And we'll bring you some highlights for those games that these teams are playing in as we go from there. That does it for sports though. We'll be back with your final forecast right after this.